In this sketch video, we're going to practice making circles. By the end of this sketch video, if you follow along, you will have created a page that looks something like this. What we want to do is we want to start with just using a simple ballpoint pen and a simple printer paper. And for two minutes, we want to draw some circles. And for the first minute, what we're going to do is we're going to draw a dot and draw a circle around it. A dot and a circle. A dot and a circle. A dot and a circle. We're going to keep doing this um, until we've hit one minute. And what we're trying to do here is get a variety of sizes of circles. We're trying to get good at our circles. We're trying to get confident in drawing circles around a certain point. The reason why we're doing it around the point is that we don't want to just create any circle. We're looking for particular circles, deliberate circles, circles that are meaning to mate up with other circles and things like this. In this case, I'm trying to get a perfectly round circle. I'm not trying to go for a, an ellipse or anything like that. So basically, I just did that for about a minute. Got a few more seconds to go. Then I want to transition to the next activity, the next exercise. And the next exercise that I want to do is I want to draw some confident lines that are square. And then what I want to do is I want to draw a circle within this square. And the circle needs to touch each of the edges. Okay, and I did somewhat of a bad job there. But that's okay, we're just doing our exercises. That one was not really in the middle the way I wanted it to be. So a good circle is going to go and touch all of those edges. What I'm doing is getting myself some construction lines to which I'm going to draw that circle. I have time for about one more of those. Okay. All right, then the next thing I want to do is I'm um, getting a new sheet of paper here. I'm going to make, uh, uh, let's see, straight line. I'm going to put a couple of circles on here centered around those points. Okay, using the circles to help me as a guide. Excuse me, I'm using the lines to help me as a guide as I make those circles. I'm trying to make this circle around the center point. Now what I'm going to do is draw four boxes and I'm going to try to do the same kind of thing. Except this time I'm going to change this circle so that I'm not making a full circle but instead I'm making something else. I will show you. Okay, So in half of this circle or excuse me, three quarters of the circle, I want to draw the actual circle, just like that. And then in the remaining quarter, I want to draw the inverted circle, like that. Now what I want to do in the next one, is I want to imagine that this piece is rotating in that direction. And I want to draw an arrow like that, because I want to get in the habit of drawing things that can represent mechanical systems. And here I have uh, that same part is moving around. And what I'm doing is I'm showing, in this case, the, um, the idea that I've got movement going on. Now you can see in some of my circles I'm trying to go starting clockwise, others counterclockwise. I'm trying just to get good at making, um, making these circles. Deliberate circles with meaning. Okay. Now if I find a center point, which may or may not be where I had my crosshairs, um, I can imagine that this is some sort of cam or some sort of mechanical system that's going around. Now um, I want to beautify this a little bit by just getting in there and darkening up some of these lines. And I want to do that to try to have some of my construction lines go into the background. Okay, I'm just going over some of those lines again. In some cases I'm doing a bad job going over them again. But 
that's okay. Part of the sketching process is to be okay with some mistakes because we're trying to learn. Now I've made my circles, but I've also made this cam system. Now what I'm gonna do is uh, draw another line. I'm gonna try to make my construction lines a little bit lighter here. And what I wanna do now is I'm gonna draw a circle on here, centered around that point, like that. And I'm basically drawing quarters, and four quarters in a row. It's kind of easy for me to draw a quarter circle it's much harder for me to draw a whole circle all at once. Anyway, so now I have four circles, and I'm going to turn these circles into spheres. And the way I'm going to turn these circles into spheres is that from the top part to the bottom part, I'm going to draw an arc that looks like this. And from the side part to the side part, I'm going to draw an arc that looks like that. And now I have a sphere that's pointing in that direction. Now, that's only important because I want to move this direction around as I do this. So now I want to get it pointed off in this direction. So to do that, I have to think about the way that this thing should be pointed, the way those curves should go. Now I want to try to have it point down as if it's going around. And to do that, I have to choose the appropriate directions for this. In this case, pointing down. And in my last sphere, I want uh, to go in this downward to the right position like that. Now, to make this really look like a sphere, I need to put a shadow on it. Okay, and the way that a, a sphere shadow would look like, it would look like something like this. Okay, so I'm going to draw that on all those. Then I'm going to go in there and I'm going to crosshatch them. And I'm crosshatching them just using parallel lines. Of course, you can learn how to do parallel lines better by doing the parallel line exercise. And then the last thing that I'm going to do on this one, actually I'm going to do two more things. Um, I'm just going to shade this bottom surface just a little bit using my pen and I'm going to kind of go around in a circle as I'm doing it. That's going to give me a little bit of dimension to the sphere. Notice of course I'm putting the shadow, excuse me, I'm putting the dark side of the sphere on the same side as the shadow which is how it should appear. And the last thing I'm going to do here is I'm just going to go back over my circles, uh, trying to just darken them up just a little bit so that they look more finished and refined. After I do this, I will have finished my circle exercise. So what did we do in the circle exercises for today? I made a sheet of paper with dots and circles around them, trying circles of different sizes, even though my circles here happen to be mostly the same size. Then I've drawn some boxes, and in those boxes I drew some circles. Then here, I made four circles, all centered around a point, or centered around crosshairs. Then what I did is I made four more semi, I call them halfway circles maybe, inside a box where the circle is touching the box at all corners, or all sides. And then I've inverted one of the area, one of the, the quadrants of the circle, so that I can show mechanical motion in here. And then I practice the notion of 3D circles, which is a sphere, by making four more circles and then shading them and uh, putting some contours on these spheres to give them dimension. That's it. You should be doing those kinds of things uh, to practice your spheres and your circles. And that's that.